I once went on a retreat where there was a time for affirmations. And as we were going around the circle, one person said to me, don't ever change. And I thought, gee, that's pretty sweet. They must like me as I am. But then I thought about it further and realized if someone was to say that to me as some advice for life, that'd be pretty bad advice. As Winston Churchill says, to improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. Unfortunately, the same was not true for the people of Jesus' hometown in our gospel today. The townsfolk said, is this not the carpenter or is not that Mary's son? And they tried to fit Jesus into their normal box, but they failed to realize that he was the son of man who came to redeem the world. Essentially, they tried to change Jesus, but were not aware of the fact that it was themselves that needed the change. But why is there this inherent tension against change within us? Well, change is disrupting. It shifts our preferences and causes us to reassess when we'd much rather be comfortable and sail smoothly across life. When change happens regularly, we're forced to rely on the providence of God, which demands faith and perseverance. And for many of us, that can be tiring, but it can also be adventurous. Perhaps the underlying reality of change is that we're fearful of it, and it might demand of us. But this is part of the reason why we're told all throughout Scripture, do not be afraid because the Lord knows our susceptibility to fear. That famous quote in Coach Carter rings true here. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. We're not used to change, but it's the call placed upon our lives as missionary disciples who rely on God. May we follow Jesus in faith with our eyes fixed on him. Although we might feel afraid, may we step forward in faith and realize it's the Lord who changes us and makes us into the people he desires for us to be in the world.